Okay, this is JDS Sport Talks video, and this one is for week two of the English Premier League transfer window. Obviously, it's a transfer window for the whole, for everything, but I'm focusing on English Premier League as I did the, for the first week. Um, as normally, this is being recorded on the 14th, so technically, it's not a week, it's. Well, it's a week since the last recording, but it's not two weeks since the start yet, until the end of the day. Um, so, uh, one thing I've noticed when I record videos is there's not a lot of looking at the camera because I'm always trying to read something. And there will be a lot of that again today because I need to make sure I don't say transfers again that happened last time. So I've got a sheet from what what the um, transfers were like from last week and then I've got one for what they are right now. Because on the website I use it has all the ones from the last week. So I, I, just, I worked the way around it. So first up, Bournemouth, who haven't changed, so they have the exact same. Um, then there's Brighton and Hibalbian, who already had three transfers from last. Sorry, my Word document just decided to have a bit of a spaz. Um, make sure it's all working. What is happening? What is going on? Okay, um, there you go, I think I fixed it. Yeah, okay, it's back to what we were doing. So yeah, last, um, as of last week, they had three transfers. They now have six, I believe. Yes, they do. Um, so the ones they had last week were Ben Barclay, Jordan Maguire, Drew, and Ben White. The ones they've added to now are George Cox, who's gone to Northampton Town for a loan. I'm not going to go into loans this time at all. Um, then they had Josh Kerr, who loaned to Derry City, and Oliver Norwood, who's Sheffield, who's been sold to Sheffield for an undisclosed amount. I'm getting into details on that now. So, as I said, I won't go into loans with too much detail because it's just the same thing. Oh, he's out for one season, or or he's out for two on loan, or whatever. And there's nothing really to talk about, so I just leave it. Obviously, I don't go into deep detail or anything. I just say, basically, if I can find out what the price was, I'll say that. So, I've never heard of this player before. I know I have my hand over the camera then. Um, it never seems to actually say the price. Always says undisclosed. This is literally zero to do with what we're talking about. Um, I'm going to see if there's actually all undisclosed Ah, some that actually say the price. Now nah, they're all undisclosed. Okay, I'm not going to go into details at all this, this time because it takes too long for no benefit from going into what it says has details when it has no um, actual details really than what we were told in the first place. So I'm going to move on here to Burnley who had nothing in the first week. They now have three. They have Jimmy Doon who has gone on loan to Sunderland. Ali Koki who has gone to Swindon Town on loan. Natumba Masanka who has gone on loan to Racing White Daring Molenbeek. Never had that club long enough to know him. Um, as I said, I'm not going to go into any details into loans, and now, actually, I'm not going to go into details at all, I said. So, so the next team here was Cardiff. They had one. They had Paul McKay on loan to Morecambe from last week. They've added two more here. They've got Gary Medine, who's gone to Sheffield on loan, and Anthony Pilkington, who has been released, released on loan. That makes no sense. How can you release someone on loan? I think they made a mistake there. It says Anthony Pilkington released on loan. It's one or the other. You can't be both. You can't be released and on loan at the same time. You have, you're either released or you're on loan. Anyway, I move on here to Chelsea. They had. If it wants to respond, there you go. 
So Christian Pulisic was the only one. He came in and then straight back out again. Um, so he was bought from Bishop Dortmund and then loaned straight back out. So they've only got people leaving the club since then. They've got Lewis Baker, who's on loan to Reading. Cesc Fabregas, who was being sold to... It says pictured being sold to Monaco for an undisclosed price. I'm guessing that means he's being sold because it did last time. Um, as I say, I can't be bothered trying to find the prices. You can go look for that yourself. Um, Josh Grant, he has been loaned out to Oval Town. Um, Casey Palmer has gone to Bis. That sounds like a girl. Casey Palmer has gone on loan to Bristol, and Carlo Ziga has gone to Sutton Town or Sutton, Sutton Town, not Sutton. Okay. Um, why is this Word document having so many problems? Wait a second. Okay. We'll keep going here. What I'm up to, I'm up to Crystal Palace. So, they have one more, and that's another transfer out of the club. They had Jordan Much released, John Williams uh, sold to Charlton, and Jason Punchin. Punchin Punchion, I don't know, who's on loan to Huddersfield. Um, their new one is... Wait, what? I don't know why yet. The new one is Alexander Soloff, so Soloff who has gone to Cargent, who is a... I don't remember where Cargent Car is from. People say Gent. I don't know which way we say. I've always said Gent. But... That he's gone on loan to Car Gent or Gent, however you want to say it. The next is Everton, who have no new transfers in or out. Then there's Huddersfield, who keep putting my hand over the camera. Ah, uh, Huddersfield, who do have some more outs. So they had Jaden Brown to Tottenham for an undisclosed amount. Jason Kunchion coming in from Crystal. Um, Ramdan Sohi, he's on he went on loan, and Rajiv Van La Para went to Middlesbrough, and it doesn't say here what in what way. It just says he Middlesbrough details. It doesn't actually say whether he was loaned or sold. Um, the new one is Ryan Sheffield who is on loan to Notts County, the oldest club in history. Uh, then there's Liverpool, who... Oh, that's passed out again. Who had loaned out Klein and had sold Solanke. We have now loaned out another player, Ovi Azaria. I don't actually know who he is. We've loaned him out to Reading. I should know who he is, being a Liverpool fan. Uh, Man City have no change. They only thing is still Brahim Diaz, the only signing or well, he's an out transfer, but um, now we're up to Newcastle. Okay, Newcastle were not there at all last time, so they didn't have any transfers at all in the first week. Now they have Liam Giz Gibson, who were Gibson, yeah, Gibson, who was going on alone to Accrington Stanley, Tottenham Hotspur. Have Still only got Jaden Brown, who's gone out to Huddersfield for, I don't remember the amount. Um, Southampton only had one transfer last week, and that was Stephen Davis from Rangers. This time they put another one on this week, who is a sale to, to Sampdoria. Samp Do, Samp my English, I can't speak it, I swear. It's my first language, but sometimes I swear it's not. Obviously, I, I'm trying to stop something. Obviously, I know it's my first language. Um, Manolo Gabbiadini, oh, Manolo Gabbiadini, who has gone to Sampdoria for an undisclosed amount. I'm actually going to check who, um, how much that one is because I'm interested in that one to know how much it is. I'm just going to make sure the recording's going. I've not been saying this to myself. No, I haven't. Good. 
Um, come on. Okay, the loading speeds in this house are crazy. That's why it takes all day to upload a soccer manager video, which I'm currently uploading. <sighs> okay, so as always, zero useful information. Um, I'm gonna go on the internet to see. These obviously these bits will be cut out of you guys just staring at me looking at a computer because there's no point in you watching this, is there? <laughs> so you guys won't see anything at this point, you'll see it once I've got it, but... Okay, okay, as always, when I can't find a price, I will go to transfer market, and they've put a price here between 10 and 12 million. Um, so they clearly didn't know. They don't actually have any exact prices for any of his transfers throughout his career. They're all betweens. They don't actually know between any of them. And he has moved a lot. Jesus Christ. He doesn't exactly like staying with one team. Okay, moving on to the next players now. Come on. There you go. Um, so what did we do? We did Southampton. So the next team is Watford, who had no one last time. This time they had Stefano Ukaka. Whoa. Okay, my word's spazzing out again. Yeah, Stefano Ukaka is an loan out to Udinese and... Marvin Ziegen, Ziegela, who has been loaned out to Udinese as well. West Ham United have, so next team, West Ham United, last time they had, um, unattached. I'm not sure, I don't actually know what unattached mean, but, oh, so they brought in Samir Najri from Free Agent, because he didn't have a club previously. <laughs> Um, and they have now sold Moses McCassie to Stevenage. So they haven't sold him, they put him out on loan to Stevenage. Um, next is Wolves. If it wants to let me. Okay, so last time Wolves had quite a few. They had three, they now have six, so they've d doubled it. Before they had David Wang coming in, who is still the only person coming in, and. He went out on loan straight away to Sporting Lisbon and Ben Kick a phobie went out for an undisclosed amount of stoke. So they've only added transfers out since they have Courtney Hawes to Aston Villa on loan, Bright Enokab en Enobake to Coventry. Um on loan as well, and Ethan M. Banks Landell, who has gone to Rochdale on loan. 
So this feel was a lot shorter than my other one. Um, obviously there is a possibilities of people moving around so at the moment. Like there's Cesc Fabricas probably leaving. There's a lot of things that might be happening. Um, obviously outside the Premier League there's a name I think which appears it might not happen considering the Barcelona um, coach or manager or whatever been denying that he's actually had any talks at all with PSG boss. So that might not happen. I don't know. If it does, I'll bring it to you as soon as possible. Um, so that's all I've got so for this video. This has been JDS. Thanks and bye. See you next time.